Let's start with this new development we have. Uh, Justice Amy Coney Barrett, who oversees the Seventh Circuit, has now uh, issued a request for the town of Naperville, Illinois, to defend its uh, salt weapons ban uh, against an emergency injunction request from a group called the uh, National Association for Gun Rights, which has uh, is trying to get this this ban thrown out. So what what should we take away from this news? Well, the way to think about the assault weapon bans in America, I would say the main show right now, though there's a lot of shows going on all across the country, the one that we should keep the most focus on right here and right now is what's going on out of the state of Illinois in the federal court system. Because there's really two parallel cases. Technically speaking, Mm. they have multiple cases, but we don't need to get that specific here. There's really two general sets of cases going on. One has found their way all the way up to the United States Supreme Court, being heard specifically by Justice Amy Coney Barrett, although I think the whole court's going to hear that in one second. I'll tell you why that's the case. And then you have the second set, a parallel uh, set of cases that has now found itself in the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals, which is the Court of Appeals that oversees all the federal district courts in Illinois. And with the, the, so those are the two parallel paths things. So let's start with what's going on with the Supreme Court. In the case of Bevis versus Naperville, uh, that case uh, originally came out of Chicago land, in the area of Chicago, the suburbs of Chicago. There were certain bans on so-called assault weapons and so-called large capacity magazines, which is we know our political propaganda terms for semi-automatic rifles that are very ordinary uh, and also magazines that hold more than 10 rounds, very common, very ordinary. And there was a lawsuit there. Originally, it was just against the city of Naperville's ordinance, which was a town ordinance, if you will. But then, of course, it became expanded and covered not only that, but also the entire state of Illinois, because Illinois passed uh, as a response to Bruin, uh, bans of so-called assault weapons in the magazines. Now, in that case of Bevis, they, they, the Chicago judge made a terrible decision. I've talked about this at the Four Boxes Diner before. I won't get into the details of it. Basically, screwed up the legal standard entirely, applying the relevant legal standard when you're dealing with arms ban cases or gun ban cases, and got it wrong. The plaintiffs in that case, again, Bevis and the National Association for Gun Rights, they took an immediate emergency appeal to the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals. The Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals denied their emergency application to enjoin the laws of the state of Illinois and to enjoin the laws of the city of Naperville. The lawyers then sought an emergency application to the United States Supreme Court because the United States Supreme Court oversees all the federal courts, including the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeal, because under Article 3 of the United States Constitution, it creates a single Supreme Court, which is supreme above all, and then a series of inferior courts, which includes the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals and the district courts. So what happened there was you had an emergency application to the United States Supreme Court in Bevis versus City of Naperville, That was assigned to Justice Amy Coney Barrett because Amy Coney Barrett, before she sat on the United States Supreme Court, was a judge on the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals. So she's the most familiar with the Seventh Circuit, and therefore she was assigned this emergency application. Now, most of the time, and this is what's key, Stephen, most of the time when someone makes an emergency application to stay a lower court decision or to enjoin some unconstitutional law down below, most of the time, the United States Supreme Court just simply denies it uh, with the back of the hand in a polite way, denied, polite, right. denied. That's it. Nothing happens. But that's not what happened here. And this is very important, Stephen. What happened here is Justice Amy Coney Barrett issued an order that basically says, I'm interested in what happened in the state of Illinois involving the Second Amendment and these gun bans. And I want this government, I want the state and the city to come to the United States Supreme Court by virtue of legal briefs and explain to me, Amy Coney Barrett, why you think you can do what you can do. Now, that brief or those briefs, whatever they're going to submit, is due, I believe, on uh, May 8th or so, sometime next yep. week. That's going May to be 8th. sent to the U.S. Supreme Court. And I'm telling you, uh, dollars to donuts here, that Justice Barrett will take the initial look at this. But I think the entire Supreme Court in-house is going to look at these papers And they're going to notice immediately that the decision by the district court judge was terribly wrong and inconsistent with Heller and Bruin. So that is the that is the main show. What's going on at the Supreme Court? 